Starship's 11th flight test was a success, with the giant rocket surviving re-entry and making a soft splashdown at a predetermined site in the Indian Ocean. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy called it another major step toward landing Americans on the moon's south pole. That's because NASA is counting on SpaceX to create a lunar lander version of Starship in time for the Artemis III mission in 2027. And Blue Origin is working on a human lander for the Artemis V mission in 2030. Florida Congressman Mike Herodopoulos toured both companies' Space Coast facilities in September. How confident are you that we're going to be on schedule with a lunar lander to put those American astronauts on the lunar south pole before China gets there? We, we definitely need to win this race because, again, they don't have the same values we have here in America. After you see something like this, you're going to be confident that we're going to beat the Chinese and we're going to do it in an ethical manner, an environmentally safe manner, and in a way that really propels all humankind. Earlier that month, Jim Bridenstine, who served as NASA administrator during the first Trump administration, warned a Senate committee using Starship as a lunar landing system will be extraordinarily complex. It hinges on us, me saying here today, that it is highly unlikely that we will land on the moon before China. NASA wants to establish a permanent base on the moon to support future missions to send humans to Mars. And Elon Musk wants Starship to be the vehicle that brings them there.